Hello and a very warm welcome to Open Day and to the Faculty of Arts. My name is Professor Sharon Pickering, I'm Dean of the Faculty and it's my absolute pleasure to be able to walk you through all of the courses that we offer here and the experiences that you will have when you join us in the Faculty of Arts at Monash University. Open Day, I am sure you've been able to canvas so many great uh, ideas and opportunities. So let me talk you through what some of these look like when you come to study the humanities, the social sciences and the performing arts here at Monash. What we try to do here is to make sure that you have got uh, a, just a terrific foundation right across uh, our courses of study to ensure you're in a position to go on to be part of our rapidly changing world. We focus on a number of things here at Monash that make us quite distinctive. We like to think of ourselves at Monash here as being highly innovative and enterprising right across the humanities and social sciences. We put the student experience at the heart of what we do and that means both within curriculum and outside the curriculum, we're able to offer you a whole lot of opportunities that you get to choose. We give you the flexibility to build up your experiences your portfolios of capabilities and your preparedness to go out into the world and to make uh, an impact. When you come uh, to Monash Arts at Monash, you are joining a world leading faculty. Across all of our areas, we are global leaders, whether it be in areas such as uh, philosophy uh, and uh, literary studies, through to politics and international relations, media and communications, criminology, and across, across the full breadth of languages that we offer, both Asian languages and European languages. When you join Monash, you are joining a top 100 university and we're really proud to ensure that you have a top 100 university experience with us. The world isn't slowing down. And importantly, we need graduates that are able to tackle the complexity of our world, to solve problems, to develop solutions, to join the dots, to bring people together, particularly at a time when we're dealing with not only uh, the increasing impact of technology, the devastation of the pandemic, of fake news, of blurred boundaries, of all kinds of things occurring. The skills that we develop in our leaders, in our students, are precisely the graduates that we need to go out into this world, whether it be in government or industry or private organisations, um, localised startups, across all of those, we need graduates that can make sense of the complexity of this world and can not just commentate on it, but can help change it. So with us here at Monash, we wanna be able to offer you a whole range of experiences that mean you will have the vital skills required um, to shape our world in the future. The reason why you'll come and study the humanities and social sciences here in the Faculty of Arts at Monash is because we're in the business of creating global leaders. Global leaders at a time when we need that leadership more than any other point in our global and local history. So let me tell you what that looks like. Let me kind of walk you through some of the elements of what we do and why it is important. We're going to work with you to ask the questions that really matter about our world. Not just about how we can change things for the better, but understanding the forces that shape our lives and the lives of others. What makes for a rich and meaningful experience? And then how do we actually put that into action in terms of our local and our global communities? What's really important to remember is that asking those questions is really important. Because the future of work is actually deeply human. Many will tell you the future of work is technical. It's technocratic. It's at the bottom of a test tube. In actual fact, the future world of work is deeply human. We know and all the research tells us that two thirds of all jobs will be what they call soft skill intensive by the year 2030. That is, they won't be automated. They won't be technical, 
but they will be about marshalling the force of that technology, the force of people, of communities, of societies, of organisations, of industries, together in order to affect change, together in order to affect success. And that's what we prepare you for here, because when we talk about those skills, those skills are about communication. They're about complex and critical thinking. They're about problem solving. They are about working together, bringing together multi-stakeholder groups. This is what we do here in the humanities and the social sciences. So the future world of work, 2030 and beyond, the world that you'll all be graduating into, is an actually deeply human world when you think about the jobs that will be there and the jobs that you will be part of creating. What's really important to remember across all of this is that, and we know this, you know this in your daily lives as much as I do, that technology is never a substitute for people. The humanities and social sciences have the lowest risk of automation of any areas of study, only 14%. The future of work is human. Interpersonal and creative roles are the hardest of all to mechanise. What's also important is to remember that there is, uh, in terms of uh, your employability, all of our graduate employability data here in the Faculty of Arts demonstrates 88% of our graduates go on into graduate work uh, after completing their studies with us. That is the same number as engineering, it's higher than in other areas of STEM, and it has remained consistently high over a long period of time. What's really important when you come to study with us across our whole range of undergraduate programs is that we're ensuring that you're developing the capabilities that employers want. And we work really closely with employers. We have industry boards across all of our degrees. And we make sure that we help produce graduates of the kinds that they want to employ. Globally literate graduates, innovative thinkers with agile minds and problem solvers and excellent communicators. So working with industry, make sure that our curriculum is always informed and developed with those kinds of graduate attributes in mind and informed by the thoughts and input of our industry partners. So what jobs do we go on to? What jobs do our students routinely take up? Our students are leaders in diplomacy and government, in a range of business roles, in areas like marketing and public policy, in law and consulting, in finance and in strategic communications. These are all huge and growing industries. These are not boutique and niche. They are not simply local or global. They span across all of those. So the markets that you'll go out into in terms of your future work are expansive. Indeed, I would suggest they are limitless. When you study in the Faculty of Arts at Monash University, we offer you a distinctive experience. And that's because immersion is very important to us. When you study with Monash, you are studying with the world's most global university. You are studying with Australia's most international university. And we ensure that every student has the opportunity to benefit from being part of this university. So, what does an immersive global education look like at Monash? The first is it does not look like any one thing within this faculty. There is a range of options because our students like choice and they like flexibility. And we make sure that is built in to a globally immersive experience. This includes study tours and field trips. It includes semester exchanges with any of our 200 partners around the world. We have intensive language programs. We have an entire semester that runs at our Prato campus. We have the Global Immersion Guarantee that I'll speak about in a moment. And what is important and what you must remember is that being a global university is in the Monash DNA. And for every student, that is important because all the research tells us when a student has an internationally immersive experience, they go on an exchange, they, under, they undertake study tours, not only do their grades increase, but so does their employability. We've just finished doing some research 
uh, on our own programs. And what is interesting is that our findings accord with the international literature on this. And what that tells us is that benefit in terms of grades, that benefit in terms of employability is even higher for what we might call non-traditional students. Students who are first in family, recent migrants from rural and regional backgrounds. So these experiences are not experiences in isolation. These experiences then go to the core and inform all of the other study and activity that you undertake. The Global Immersion Guarantee is a signature initiative, not only of the Faculty of, Faculty of Arts, but of Monash University. The reason GIG is so special is it's a fully funded experience. Because we believe if an international study experience improves your grades and your employability, your access to it should not depend upon your means. And so we support you to undertake uh, this experience. So global immersion is really important to us in the Faculty of Arts across all of our programs. But so is developing the professional futures of our students. And a big part of our approach to professional futures is not just global immersion, it's also work integrated learning. And right from the very start of the, your degree with us, regardless of which under, undergraduate degree you undertake, there are a range of opportunities for you to undertake things like internships and other kinds of industry experiences. We routinely bring industry into classrooms and connect with our students. We have both short-term and long-term internships available. We have a whole range that students can engage in. We also work with students if they want to develop um, their own internship experiences as well. These are all about not just students getting increased insight into the world of work. Work integrated learning and internships are about connection. They're about networks. And as always, they're about people. There are endless options to create endless opportunities when you study with us. In the faculty, there are over 40 areas of study, over six undergraduate single degree programs and more than 20 double degree programs. We have 14 graduate coursework programs that are combined with bachelors and masters. And I'll tell you a little bit more about how they work as well. So I am confident that you will find a combination and a degree that works for you. So our undergraduate degrees include uh, our Bachelor of Arts, our Bachelor of Global Studies, Bachelor of Media and Communication, a Bachelor of Criminology, a Bachelor of Music, and the Bachelor of Politics, Philosophy and Economics. All of these degrees are also de um, offered as double degrees with other um, degrees, not just within the faculty, but across the entire university. We also have a number of add-on language diplomas as well. So let me tell you a little bit about the Bachelor of Arts. This is a custom-built degree for curious minds. Let's talk about the kinds of career you can expect. So here, let me show you this little video. We're about to meet James and Stevie Lou, two students who have just finished Year 12. They think they're about to make a very simple documentary, but we've got other plans for them. Let's go and meet them. Hello, Nathan. I'm Hamish. James. James. Stevie. Stevie. You guys just finished Year 12? Yeah. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe a gap year. <laughs> Unsure about your lives? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Right, I've cleared this with your parents. They've all said no problems with the following idea. We make a film on the Bachelor of Arts from Monash University. We go to some amazing places, meet some extraordinary people, inspire you a little, He's joking. and help you make a decision about the rest of your life. In? Yeah. You sure? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Ooh. The reality is what I'm doing now never existed back then. And I think that as you prepare for the future, it's less about knowing exactly what you want to do and more about knowing how you want to do it. I loved arts straight away. Found it really stimulating and interesting and um, finished my arts degree with a major in women's studies. When I think of humanities, I think of like history. Yeah, that's what I think geography. And like, yeah, geography, like philosophy as I well. I think that's what school teaches us. Yeah. 
think people-based courses are so important these days. I think everything's become dehumanised, but I think we need storytellers, we need to feel, and I think that the more contact, the more, the more humanity there is, the, it's the greatest thing we can have. The thing about travelling with archaeology was it realised that childhood ambition to go and do something adventurous with my life. I got to work with some amazing people in all these different countries. You know, if you study uh, indigenous cultural heritage or you have a focus on indigenous studies, I mean, that can take you to do archaeology in indigenous studies or it could take you to anthropology. In an arts degree, you learn to learn. It's more than just acquiring knowledge. It's about acquiring skills to pick up knowledge that you need when you need it. But we're not going to Canberra, but we might be going to Singapore. Like, no. Seriously? <laughs> Singapore. <laughs> we're going to Singapore. What? They told us we were going to Canberra. This is crazy. And we were like, what? We're going to Canberra. <laughs> but no. We're going oh to Singapore. I just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, how did I come to live in Singapore? It's a long story. I finished my arts degree in 1993. I did classical studies, you know, ancient Greek, Latin. I was the Middle East correspondent for Fairfax, living first in Jerusalem, then in Beirut. I met my wife in Baghdad at the beginning of last year. Um, we came to Singapore. The careers that it could provide within DFA, developing policy, putting your thoughts forward, being involved in those sort of things, I think it's a fantastic uh, career and opportunity. After hearing from these amazing, successful people, it, it's really taught me that there's no pressure and just to relax and do something like an arts degree because it's so valuable, the things you learn. Learning about all this this week has really made me think there's so much more to arts than I thought. You know, there's just a lot more under the surface. There are new jobs that are, are being created that weren't around two years ago, five years ago. An arts degree teaches you to, to think laterally. It's good to think about your future employment in a lateral way as well. It's just, it's crazy to think that there are so many different places that an arts degree can get you. The beauty of arts is you can sort of work things out a bit as you go and give yourself great opportunities. So if you wanted to get into journalism, it's a great way to go. Broadcasting, writing, I think it's just a great degree that allows you to keep your options open. So after the week you've had, are you going to study arts? Yeah, yeah. definitely. What's your major going to be? <gasps> Choose one. I'm definitely going to do job and screen. Oh yeah? Definitely. Yeah. This will shock everyone at home, but archaeology. Did you even contemplated it before the week? No, never. Did you not exist it? I knew, like in movies and stuff. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> yeah. Thanks guys. Thank you. Woo! That's the week. Is that the week? Is that the week? This is the best, honestly, the best week ever. Just a couple of uh, comments about the importance of double degrees. Monash places a really high priority on double degrees because we believe double degrees are precisely what this world needs. Having students graduate who have deep uh, understanding and capability across different areas is of course incredibly import important to employers and important to ensure that students as they graduate and go into the world of work are in a position to pivot between industries and between opportunities as they develop for them. So the future of work as far as we're concerned and all of the research tells us really does rest on the humanities and social sciences. But combining our degrees with degrees in other parts of the university with STEM-based degrees really gives students an unbeatable edge. Our students that study, for example, global studies and science, or perhaps PPE and law. It might be criminology and IT. It could be arts and engineering. Those double degrees are invaluable for our students going forward and offer them not only an experience here at Monash with us that is rich, and meaningful in terms of the quality and excellence of their academic study 
and of the diversity of experience they have here, but positions, positions them for a whole range of graduate futures. 62 million people in Indonesia are infected with hookworm, which is the leading cause of anemia worldwide. The report that I wrote, along with um, consultation with the project officer, stimulated treatment in Chapanas for hookworm. I'm Grace Orange. I'm a data analyst at the Australian Bureau of Statistics and an Indonesian health advocate. Yayasan Usaha Mulia, or YUM for short, they do health and educational and community development projects in two rural locations in Indonesia, which target iron status of women and children under five. Hookworm is the leading cause of anemia worldwide, but they weren't treating for it. If they treated for it, then their iron status would improve and the results of their existing projects would also improve. I spoke with the project officer, said that I would fund it, and that's helping about 250 kids in Chapanas at the moment. It was quite competitive to get the role at the Australian Bureau of Statistics. About 2,000 people applied and only 46 got it Australia-wide. The report really played a huge role in helping me get that because, you know, it gave me the confidence that I could actually solve problems. My Monash Bachelor of Arts has provided me with great research skills, analytical thinking, to be able to look at a big problem, solve it and tell a story about it so that anybody can understand just helping promote development, helping other people. <laughs> That's where I want to be, having an impact in the community. The double degree combination is a really important option for so many students, as is the Bachelor Masters program combination for our students. What this means is for our students who will be doing one of our single degrees, they have an opportunity to begin studying for their masters halfway through their third year. That means that by the end of their fourth year, they will be graduating not only with a bachelor's degree, but also with a master's degree. This can occur across all of our undergraduate offerings and indeed our postgraduate programs. So for example, you might do a Bachelor of Arts and a Master of Public Policy. You might do a Bachelor of Politics, Philosophy and Economics and a Masters of International Relations. There are a range of combinations across these bachelor's and master's double degrees that enable our students to go out with both of those qualifications at the end of four years. We have over 14 graduate coursework opportunities for our students, from linguistics and bioethics to communications and media studies in the creative and cultural industries, in environment and sustainability, in specific areas such as family violence and gender peace and security, but also significant programs across international development practice, international relations, international sustainable tourism management, interpreting and translation, journalism, public policy and strategic communications. All of these master's degrees can be combined with our undergraduate programs in the four-year combination that I've outlined. This puts our students uh, at a great advantage when they graduate from us in terms of the work opportunities that they can then go on to explore. Here in the Faculty of Arts at Monash University, we can't wait to see you. We know you're going to have a fabulous experience in any one of our undergraduate programs. Mm -hmm.